Hello, Graybeard here. And uh, hopefully this mic's working. <laughs> Haven't used it in a while. Anyhow, we're going to take a ride in the winter. <laughs> I got my mask on. Riding jacket. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I fired it up a little bit ago to make sure it would run. And uh, yeah, it took her a second to fire up because it had been a little while since I fired it back up. Well, last time I rode that I filmed it. So it's been a couple months. But uh, it's, it's right around 38 to 40 degrees right now. So hopefully I won't freeze my butt off. <clears throat> I, got, <clears throat> I got me some proper riding gloves. And I got my winter riding shoes. They're British, British Knights. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, get to the gas station and uh, then I'll start filming again but uh don't forget to like subscribe and share the crap out of it alrighty just filled up gotta get my winter crap on again <clears throat> hopefully this thing ain't hard to start it was a little hard to start there when I went to come up to the gas station yeah. I'm not used to this crap. These gloves are a little cumbersome, but they keep your hands warm. Oh, yeah. Tuck and strap. Yeah, uh, the only thing that's really cold is my legs. And once I get used to these gloves, they won't bother me so much. But yeah, they work. I got the knuckles. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, fired right up. I drove it a little bit, though. Oh, oh, I got I got to do something. I forgot to uh, strap my helmet. <laughs> Derp. Hopefully I can do it with this stupid... Uh, <laughs> these gloves. <coughs> oh, a little gravel there under my feet. See the fireplaces are burning. If I can find it. Yeah, I gotta take one of these gloves off. Oh, I hate this. We're losing daylight. Uh, and my gloves on the ground. So let me go ahead and kick my kickstand down. I might have taken both my gloves off. Let's see. Hold it, I think. I think I got it. I think. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> I'm a novice. Especially at riding in the cold. But there's no ice or nothing on the roads or nothing like that. So far, it's been a mild winter. We got a few light snows, enough snow to make Christmas white, and that's about it. I mean, it was just enough to make it white. And uh, again, I hope you can hear me well. Waiting on traffic. I don't want to slow nobody down. I do think it's a little cheap mic in my helmet. Hang on. Might have paid around $15 for it. Worked pretty good. Yeah, and all around my face too. Uh, this helmet likes to uh, uh, steam up on me when I shut it because it's a cheap helmet. 
Well, we're doing 33. I guess that's about normal here, 34. It's gonna lose some speed here in just a second because of the hill. But remember, I had just put that uh, <coughs> Kevlar drive belt on the bike uh, right on, that was my last video of, uh, uh, you know, full length video. And you guys probably noticed I've been doing a lot of them little short reels. I don't know if you have or not. I don't know if it gives you the uh, notices like it does the regular videos or not. But, uh, yeah, it ups your, uh, I don't know, how to, uh, it gets you promoted more. And like one of them reels, you can uh, throw one up and it'll uh, get like, 800 views within an hour I guess if you're a big-time youtuber you can uh, get in 37 here I think I got that before right when I first did the uh, uh, what you call it the roller boss swap but yeah, uh, yeah, the reels, I don't know if they're aggravating to any of y'all. I hope they're not. But uh, they uh, help the channel a little bit. Because I was starting to pick up subscribers real quick too there. I, I kind of slowed off because I didn't want to just keep recycling. I've seen a lot of big time YouTubers doing that. Recycling the same thing over and over again. Like I put out a video, I got one, it was a little uh, short, I called them reels, didn't I, that's Facebook, <laughs> but uh, anyways on uh, YouTube they're shorts and you know of course you got TikToks, I don't do TikTok, <laughs> I just do uh, YouTube, uh, smell like somebody's burning plastic, but uh, anywho, got one video that uh got like over 6,000 views almost 7,000 views like within a day you know it was like within an hour or two really yeah I'm feeling a little bit of cold on my uh mostly my left hand on my middle two fingers <laughs> my legs of course I'm gonna buy me some britches they're uh, jeans that are uh, fleece lined I'm thinking that'll help in fact I might put them on order when I get to the house yeah this is the road I say in the winter time where it runs along that creek it gets colder here and uh if you can see, it looks like black ice right there. Oh no, it's just a little bit, a little bit damp. But yeah, this freezes up bad in the winter time, so you got to be careful going down this road. All the, it's all the, uh, I guess the humidity from around here, where the, you know, it's right along the creek. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get out as soon as possible, but then to find all my gear. <laughs> my coat I knew where it was at but I got this thing uh, that I slip over my head it's supposed to help I don't know how much it helps because it's really not that thick or insulated but I figure anything's better than nothing it covers my neck a little bit but uh, I should have it tucked in my jacket but I don't I think I'm alright on that biggest thing I worry about is my legs because I can feel it <laughs> But yeah, this is what it looks like in the winter time with no foliage. <laughs> and here's the funny thing is uh, with all these hills, this is my normal route, of course. Can't take this bike too much anywhere else. Uh, but uh, a lot of times if I get out here, see, it looks like the sun's done set, right? Well, it's about 4.30 to 5 o'clock right now. The reason why you can't see the sun 
is cause of these freaking hills and that mountain right there in front of us. But uh, once we get through this next neighborhood, uh, might actually get to see the sun again. <laughs> Because it kind of, we're going through these hills. But it does feel good to get back on the scooter and scoot. And speaking of which, I got a, a, another uh, scooty type uh, two wheeler uh, on the horizon that'll uh, hit the channel soon. It's a little different than anything else I got. It might bore some of you, but then some of you might be really interested in it. Hopefully all of you are. That's my wish. <laughs> but you can't beat these daggone Kimco scooters for... They just... They go. <laughs> Maybe not super fast, but they go. It smells like somebody was washing clothes and I could smell the dryer blowing the... The sense of the... Uh, softener and detergent out into the air yeah my fingers feel a little bit cold but not bad so these gloves are doing their job pretty well for cheap gloves because these aren't the expensive kind I'm I'm a cheapskate my budget's very small I swear some more water that must be where somebody backed out with a pickup truck looks like it just leaked out from the bed Yeah, my legs are feeling it though. Stop. <laughs> That's what they call a California stop is what I heard. I can tuck my legs in and it helps a little bit, but uh, <laughs> me bits and pieces, they get squished. <laughs> I didn't want to squish me bits and pieces, you know, me fruit and veg. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks a little bleak. You can see that house way up on the hill over there. You probably can see it in the summertime, but, uh, never really noticed it. <laughs> I probably noticed it going down 460. That's a, highway it goes along a mountain there uh, I guess we didn't uh, go fast enough to catch the Sun but I have done it try on some of my videos mostly most likely my earlier videos well that building's done if you uh, watch many of my videos you saw uh, last time I come out through here they was working on it but it looks finished now of course, that's been a couple months ago. Yeah, with this Kevlar belt, one of the things I wanted to try out, though, is that uh, it says that it can possibly, uh, not possibly, it says it can uh, help your top end. If not, you know, if just ever so slightly, I mean. Whew. And once we get up here to the 460, we'll uh, go around that uh, little exit because we kind of like don't even get on 460. We just jump straight to the exit and go to West Graham. And uh, that's where that hill is <laughs> to give us the extra advantage. On a flat, we're just about stuck at 37 until I get some more power behind it. I do need to put that carb on there. It's been sitting on my workbench for uh, mm, <laughs> at least six months or more. Now, just then, it looked like, because I swear it seemed like last time, the last few times I come up through this hill here that I was down to 424 by that bridge, that overpass. Whew, my knees are getting cold. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> Look, see if I can find some thermals or something. But, uh, yeah, here's 32, 33, 34. 
35. I, I can't remember what we got to at this point, you know, coming off that little hill. This is a long, slight uphill. But yeah, back to that, uh, what I was talking about coming to the channel soon. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm very anxious. I've been doing a lot of extensive research on these and uh, trying to get the cheapest yet most uh, powerful <laughs> of the variety. I don't really want to give too much away. <laughs> the suspense, you know. Still holding 27, 28 right here was. 26. It's not bad. I really do hope this mic's still working. <laughs> I probably should have tried it out before I decided to actually film film. Woohoo! Woohoo! It's 38. We never got 38 coming. 39. We never got that coming down this little slide hill here. 39. If you remember right after I did that roller boss, uh like the first sec first or second video after the roller ball swap uh, results uh, I come down this hill uh, every time I come down this here I check my speed and uh, 37 was uh, all I could get I got 39 there that might well last time I come down through here I already had that new uh, tag on it now I can't think of the name of it <laughs> the uh, shoot CDI, unrestricted CDI. Last time I come down through here then, I didn't get no uh, 39 then. I'm wondering if that belt did the trick. Well see, the longer you ride on a belt, the more it's gonna stretch. And I would think the more it stretches, the, the more it hurts you on your top end. I would think, little by little, you know. Whew, my knees. I can feel more just sitting here. Hit a rock or something. Felt like daggone bike was coming apart. <laughs> She's feeling solid now, though. Whew. Yeah, it's a little overcast. There's calling for winter weather, so... <laughs> Shouldn't be out too long. <sighs> yeah. You can't go wrong with a Kimco. I mean, if you can afford it, get you a Honda. But uh, if you can't afford a Honda or a Suzuki or Kawasaki, if you're gonna you know, go on the cheap side, Kimco's the way to go. Woohoo! Checking the speed. 40. One, two, three. Four. Oh, that's about all we got last time. Still good though. Feels nice to hit that on this thing. Now if only we could just sustain 44. <laughs> it's going to take quite a few mods for that to happen. And then I don't know if this still will. And with this mask on my face, uh, Hopefully that doesn't mess up the ability for the microphone to pick it up. I'm sure it doesn't. This film is a quite quite a small space to <laughs> hold by a loud mouth. Whew. Yeah. I gotta get me some better britches for riding, I'll tell you that. The 
by the time I get home, my legs are going to feel like uh, icicles. fingers are feeling it a little bit more too bad this uh I thought this thing did have something on here for uh, how long you've been riding maybe it's 9.7 miles maybe that's what that was up here in the top corner Hopefully y'all can see it. Sometimes I feel like I'm too far up. But on these slider hills, it seems like it's doing better for some reason. I mean, this thing was pulling. Kind of let off on the throttle. So I don't want to get caught riding dirty, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I could do this in the... <laughs> like 20s or teens you know temperature wise Whew. like i say it was uh well, it was 38 when i left the house it's probably a little colder now as it gets darker and darker and the sun sets it quickly starts getting colder so yeah by the time i get home it's probably 30. and i'm feeling it oh we're in the 25 zone Yeah, I was kind of surprised there on that, like I said, that slide hill before we hit 460 where it hit 39 and it normally hits 37 i figured when we went down that bigger hill after the 460 exit that uh come on grandpa grand almost guaranteed that's a grandpa in that white truck but uh <laughs> the old men like white stays clean longer dirt don't show <laughs> as much but anywho, uh, dang, done lost my train of thought. <coughs> Whew. My knees feel like ice cubes. I'm feeling my hands a little bit more. I've got some smaller, tighter gloves that might fit inside these gloves and help a little bit more I'll have to try that out later on on another try <clears throat> and hopefully we're still filming well, this thing cut off on me uh, after I went up over the hill from the house to the gas station but uh, it was just sitting there not recording uh, I meant to turn it off beforehand and forgot so maybe that's why it shut off because it wasn't, you know, being used. Battery saving method, you know, or protection. Now, like I say, this is why I like to go over to the Bluefield, Virginia side from Bluefield, West Virginia. Because, uh, uh, less traffic. Just a lot calmer on this side of the state line. Uh, Bluefield, Virginia is less populated, even though uh, business-wise, they're growing. And business-wise, Bluefield, West Virginia is like stagnant. They've gotten a few new businesses lately, but they've lost a lot too. Mm. 
Yeah, one one year they vote out it voted out a whole mess of people because of the way they were running things. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it gotten any better, so I don't know if it made much of a difference or not because like I say, it's business is stagnant in West Virginia, or Bluefield, West Virginia. Come on, light. Yeah, but yeah, these gloves, if I had them gloves I normally wear when it's just a little bit cool, my hands would have been frozen by now. My fingers are getting cold now, but I mean, they're just gradually getting colder. Yeah, these gloves, I gotta get used to these though. They're thicker and uh, uh, a little more cumbersome, little, little yeah. <laughs> Like I say too, I'm thinking, hopefully, that that other carburetor will be a little more responsive and, you know, give a hair more pep too. Oh, let me slow down. There's their dollar gentral. Burr. a bit cool yeah we're uh, heading toward Bluefield West Virginia right now I mean we're not far from it and that's why you're seeing more traffic we can hold about 24 by the top of this hill 25 something like that let's see if it'll hold here's 26 we're you know, I don't know we may not we're about to hit the crest 24 Woohoo! I was afraid we'd hit 23 I was thinking 24 on the low end Yeah, I would hate to have to ride these all the time, you know, scooters, at least in the winter time. In the summertime, I would love to ride it all the time, but then the winter time would make it a little miserable. Inclement weather and stuff like that too. Yeah, I should have zipped this jacket up all the way. My neck's getting cold as well. Yeah, truck was sitting. Yeah, truck was sitting there last time we passed through. Oh, I passed up the road. <laughs> yeah, this is where I'll sign off. And I hope you did enjoy the video. Whew. And if you do, and if you didn't, please hit the like button and help a feller out. <laughs> yeah, this mask, <laughs> it, it gets on my nerves the most. But yeah, like I say, hit like, subscribe, and share the crap out of it. <laughs>